Benefits Comparison Unintended Consequences Without a proper long-term plan, there are many unintended consequences that keep good intentions from coming true. Unintended consequences are problems not intended, not anticipated, not foreseen, ignorance of the facts, and not preparing a plan detailed enough to address problems is a major reason for failure. It takes more than having a good paying job to give your family the life they are dreaming about. Generous government benefits can save the financial, long-term plans for many families. Canadian government benefits were a major reason why our applicants wanted to immigrate to Canada. To illustrate our point, let's compare the benefits a young married couple 30 years old would receive in Canada compared to the Philippines. The first thing a landed immigrant wants is a job. The minimum wage in Canada is 14 Canadian dollar per hour, which equals 2,240 Canadian dollar per month for 160 hours of work. Converted to pesos, the minimum wage salary equals 89,600 pesos per month. The minimum wage in the Philippines is 13,000 pesos per month. Let's find out if a young married couple in Canada can raise their own family without financial help from their extended family. Husband and wife's monthly combined income in Canada equals 4,480 Canadian dollar per month or 179,200 pesos. Husband and wife's monthly combined income in the Philippines equals 100,000 pesos. The family grows and their first child is born and later on their second child is born. In Canada, the government provides monthly child care benefits to families for children through age 17. For children age 6, the monthly income per child is equal to 533 Canadian dollar per month or 21,320 pesos. For two children under 6 years old, the additional income the young family in Canada will receive is 1,666 Canadian dollar per month or 42,640 pesos which is a great help to the young family to cover their additional expenses for raising their children. The total monthly income for the family in Canada would increase to 5,546 Canadian dollar or 221,840 pesos per month. The Philippine government does not offer child care benefits. In order to pay for the additional expenses to raise their children in the Philippines, the husband and wife must hope for a pay raise from their employers or find a higher paying job. Finding a higher paying job in the Philippines can be a problem for many workers. If not, it become more difficult for the young family in the Philippines to make their long-term dreams come true. What happens if there is a medical emergency and a member of the family incurs a 50,000 Canadian dollar medical bill? The Canadian government's medical insurance will pay the medical bill for the family in Canada. What a great benefit the family in Canada gets from paying taxes. The Philippine government does not their citizens' medical insurance. Filipinos must buy their own medical insurance, which is another additional monthly expense the young family must pay. Many families in the Philippines do not have medical insurance, and the medical bill would have to be paid by their family. Where is the money going to come from? in the Philippines to pay the medical bill. The young family's annual income would not be enough to pay a medical bill that large. There are other Canadian government benefits, but too many to list. Retirement, age 65. Husband and wife that have worked 35 years in Canada can expect to get 
a living income, from the government at retirement age. Old age pension, is equal to 1,500 Canadian dollar per month, per person. 35 year pension, is equal to, 1,600 Canadian dollar per month, per person. Husband and wife's, combined, monthly income, equals, 6,200 Canadian dollar per month, or, 248,000 pesos. Income presented, under pension varies, based on, salary and situation, of the retired couple. In the Philippines, the combined monthly income, might only be, 10,000 pesos. It's a sad, situation, in the Philippines. Unfortunately, medical bills do, arise in old aged. If a 50,000 Canadian dollar, emergency medical expense, had to be paid, the Canadian government, will pay the medical bill. Retired Canadians, get free, medical insurance, after age 65. In the Philippines, the typical family, would have a very, hard time paying, a 2 million pesos medical bill. After age 60, in the Philippines, it is very difficult, to buy medical insurance, and if the retiree, can buy medical insurance, it, is, very, expensive. A retiree, in Canada, feels a lot, different, than the typical retiree, in the Philippines. The Canadian retiree, knows, they will not, be a financial liability, to their children, in old age. Sad to say, the feeling might, not be, the same, for most retired Filipinos, in the Philippines. In conclusion, in which country, is it most likely, that a young married couple, can raise their family, without financial, help, from their, extended family? The comparison, of income earned, and government benefits, received, is very obvious, why, would you settle, for second best, when you can give, your family, the best? For qualified, applicants, the choice is your, 